All right. Okay. So 6.1.3 is titled Solving Word Problems by Using Different Representations. Today we're going to answer the question, how can I use multiple representations to solve? All right. So for question 621, we've got uh, two people, Charles and Amy. Charles and Amy are summer interns at a state park. They're helping to plant trees in an area where there was a forest fire. Charles's uncle owns a tree nursery and is willing to donate a three foot tall tree that will grow 1.5 feet per year. Amy goes to another nursery but is only able to get tree seeds donated. So they're little tiny, almost nothing, right? According to the seed package, the trees will grow 1.75 feet per year. Charles plants the tree and Amy plants a seed on the same day. Will the trees ever be the same size? Nope. Maybe, maybe not, right? If so, how many years will it take? All right, so for part A, we're going to write an equation for each of the two trees. Okay, anybody think they know what Charles's tree is going to be? Yes. Perfect. Y equals 1.5x plus 3. And anybody think they know what Amy's equation is going to be? Michael, you know that I went to? Yes. Y equals 1.75x. And since it's starting from a seed, it's 0. If you want to write plus 0, you can. But you don't, we don't normally write that. Okay? <coughs> All right. So we've got our two equations. We've got our equation for Charles's tree. We've got our equation for Amy's tree. Now we're going to look at the table. This table includes both Charles's tree and Amy's tree. And I filled in the first one for you. Okay? So... At year zero, right when they first started, Charles's tree is three feet, okay? Amy's tree is zero feet because it's the little tiny seat, okay? You're going to fill in all these boxes going across. I'll show you how to do the first couple, and you're going to write it in. So for year one, you're going to take uh, 1.5 times 1, which is just 1.5, then you're going to add 3, and that means that it's going to be 4.5 4 feet tall. Okay, You're going to do the same thing all the way across. So let's do it for year 2. So you're going to take 1.5, multiply it by 2, and then you're going to add the 3 feet, and that means it should be 6 feet tall. You're going to keep filling it in all the way across over until 13 years, okay? Amy's tree doesn't have anything to add. You're just going to multiply by 1.75. So this first box is pretty easy. What's 1.75 times 1? 1.75, okay? So that one's easy to fill in. Now let's do year 2. So we're going to go 1.75 times 2. That means... Her tree is now going to be 3.5 feet tall. Okay? So you're just going to keep multiplying the year by 1.75. Do that all the way across. Okay? I'm going to give you about two minutes to do that and then uh, show the graph now. So for part C, it says to graph both of the equation using your table as a guide. So for each of the points, you're going to make um, lines. So for... Uh, Charles, I graph Charles in the pink line. He started at three, and then he went up one and a half over one, one and a half over one, one and a half over one. So Charles is going to be this pink line. And then Amy, her, her seed started at zero, and it grew 1.75. So if you go up 1.75 over one, up 1.75 over one. She's going to be the orange line. The question is, D, will the trees ever be the same size? 
Yes, yes, they will be the same size. In your chart, what year did you find that they'll be the same size? Year 12, okay. How tall will they be at year 12? 21 feet, they'll be 21 feet tall, both of them, at year 12. So if you haven't done so yet, on year 12 right here, fill in 21 and 21, okay? Raise your hand if you got 21 and 21 before I gave that answer. Perfect, good job. All right, turn over to page six. Up at the top of page six is question 622. It says, explore the meaning of the solutions to the planting trees problem by answering these questions. How many solutions does the equation for just Charles's tree have? If you only looked at the pink line, how many solutions? How many points would that line have? Infinite, infinite amount. And that is how many coordinate pairs make the equation true. How many solutions does Amy's tree have? On the orange line, infinite. So both of them have infinite solutions, infinite solutions. Part B says in the context of the planting tree situation, what is the meaning of a solution to Charles's equation? It's going to be whatever year it is and what the height of that tree, where they meet up, okay? Part C, how many coordinate pairs are a solution to both Charles's and Amy's equation? We just said it. Four. Just one. Just one, where the two lines cross, where they intersect, right, at year... What year was it? 12, year 12. Okay. Question 23. Now we're gonna have two more people join this tree planting party. It says, two of the park ranger, two of the park rangers also want to help restore the forest after the fire. They plant trees that have been that have been bred to grow as follows. And we've got Ranger Zoo, and we've got Ranger Torres. So at two years, Ranger Zoo's tree is eight feet and Ranger Torres's is six feet. Are you here to do announcements? Yeah. Okay, let me. Ranger Zoo and Ranger Torres here at year two, his tree is eight feet and, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if it's a he or she, uh, eight feet and six feet. And then at year four, 11 feet and nine feet. Year six, 14 feet and 12 feet. So the first question is to write an equation for both Ranger Zoo's tree and Ranger Torres's tree. So the first thing I needed to do was I needed to figure out year what? Zero. Year zero, because that's gonna be the what on an equation of a line? The y-intercept, okay? So I noticed that these were going up by two. So. If I go the other direction, going down by two would get me to zero. And then this column would be going down by three. 14 to 11 is a difference of three. 11 to eight is a difference of three. So eight minus three is five, okay? Same thing over here with Torres. 12 to not, uh, from 12 to nine is a difference of three. Nine to six is a difference of three. So if I subtract three more, I get three. Okay, that makes my equations a plus five right here and a plus three right there. That's our y-intercepts. Then to get the slopes, we're gonna uh, see that the difference here is three and the difference here is two. So that's where the three halves comes from. The difference here is three and the difference here is two. So that's where the three halves comes from. What do you notice about these two equations? They're the same slope. See the three halves and see the three halves? Okay. That's going to come into play. So it says graph both lines on the same set of axes from your problem 621 on page 5. So if you take uh, these two equations and add them to the two we already did, it's going to look a little something. And I've got four different colors now. Let me shrink it. It's going to look a little something like this. So first... We had our Charles was pink, our Amy was orange, 
Now I'm going to add Zoo. He's green. And Torres is like this purpley color. And they really are on top of each other. I just had to kind of put them just slightly apart so you could see that they were both there. But they really end up on top of each other. Okay, they end up being the same line. Okay, so draw it on top of each other and label it both Charles and Torres. Charles and Torres end up being the same line. Amy was the orange one. Zoo is over here. Now we've got four trees going. Okay, so question C says, when will Ranger Zoo's tree be the same height as Charles's tree? And when will Ranger Torres's tree be the same height as Charles's tree? So Zoo and Charles will never be the same height because they're parallel, right? Zoo is green, Charles is pink. So they're never gonna intersect, okay? See how they're parallel in there? But Torres and Charles, Torres and Charles are always going to be the same because they're the same line. It's really hard. I, it was, I was trying to draw them on top of each other, but then I thought you guys wouldn't be able to see it. So I put them like bar barely is hairline away from each other. Okay? But they're actually on top of each other. Okay? They're the same line. And then the last question says, you could have answered part C by simply looking at the equations from Ranger Zoos and Ranger Torres's trees. Explain how you could answer the questions before you graphed it. And we did. Remember, we looked at them and we said they had the same slope. Okay? Finish copying that down, especially the graph if you need to. And then uh, 